guys, it's Michelle with Moxie Emotion, and I'm already sweaty because this is part two of a two-part series I'm doing of an outdoor workout. We're here at Venice Beach in sunny California, and I am putting together a workout for you guys today that you could do at home, in the park, at the beach, if you're in a hurry to get something done fast so you can get on with your day. All we're using today is cables and the ground. The first circuit in our workout today is gonna be mostly upper body. We're gonna use our cable, as I mentioned before. Find a pole, you can easily wrap it around a fence. You can get your buddy to hold it for you if you want them to. And we're gonna do a reverse fly. It's really important to pay attention to the form on this one because we don't want it to turn into a row. When you do a reverse fly, your arms stay really nice and straight. You're gonna keep your neck relaxed, your shoulders pressed down, and you're gonna pull back. Firing up those rear delts, your back, and come back together. You can definitely get different bands with different resistances to them if this is too difficult, or you can even just take a step forward to make the band a little less resistant. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the back. All right, you're gonna give me 20 of those, and then you're gonna go into a row. I like to take a split stance when I do this so I can really bear down. Drop the cable a little bit lower, and you're gonna pull from your shoulders and elbows straight back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. I want mine a little bit more resistance, so I'm gonna step back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. When you're rowing, make sure to keep your core tight. You don't want that booty popping out, and you don't want your low back arching. We always wanna stay in a position that's gonna help us prevent injuries. All right, now we're gonna turn around and face the other way, and we're gonna do a regular fly. This is gonna be a little bit more for your chest. Bring that cable up so it's right about at shoulder level. Take a split stance, lean forward, and you're gonna act as if you're hugging a beach ball. Squeeze it together. The key is not to see how far forward you can push your hands, but rather if you can actually contract your chest. Focus on that squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the end with your neck nice and relaxed, and then stretch that chest open by slightly bending your elbows. You wanna save your shoulders. So doing that little elbow bend is gonna put the stretch in your, in your chest, not your shoulders. If you open up too high like this, you're gonna put some stress there in your shoulders. Get that shoulder pump. All right, now we're gonna do a push-up. There's a couple variations and ways you can do a push-up. If your hands are nice and close to you, you're definitely gonna hit your triceps a little bit more. If your hands are wide, you're definitely gonna hit your shoulders a little bit more. Because a lot of people have such tight front of the shoulder area, I usually start them out doing a more close stance when they're doing their push-ups. However, start where you're comfortable. Just pay attention to your body. If you feel any pain in your shoulders, adjust that positioning and see if you can get rid of that pain. So we're gonna start with a little bit narrow stance today. Elbows right over hands and shoot them straight back as you come down and right back up. Okay, now we're on to circuit number two. We're gonna do some cable bicep curls, some overhead tricep presses, and I always like to add something in to keep your heart rate up, so we're gonna do mountain climbers. Let's get started with the bicep curl. We're gonna stand on the cable in the middle. The further apart you put your feet, the more resistance you're gonna get. Always bend your knees a little and sit into that so you don't rock back and forth while you do your cable curls. Then go ahead and just curl on up. Squeeze it at the top and then slowly open, making sure to really stretch that bicep open. Squeeze, 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 bring it back down. Don't rush through it and don't swing your body. Make sure your elbows are staying forward and not shooting back when you do the rep. All right, so do about 15 of those. You can do more if you need to burn your biceps out a little bit, or you can even get a more resistant band. The next exercise is a tricep overhead press. Take those cables, push them all the way up. Now keeping your shoulders and elbows locked in place, you're just gonna bend your hands back behind your head and press back up. This one requires a little bit more stability, 
Really keep that core tight. Whew. Keep your hands nice and close together. Perfect, 15 or so of those, and then we'll move on to our mountain climbers. We're gonna go down to the ground, much like in a position for a push-up, and then we're gonna take our legs to the outside of our hands. Right, then left foot is gonna be one rep. Bring your foot up to here, really stretch open that hamstring, and jump to the other side. There's one, two. Whew. There you go. That's the end of your second circuit. Now our third circuit and our final circuit in this workout is going to be a plank on the ground for our core, this time with a twist. Then we're gonna do a step back lunge, also with a twist, and we're gonna finish it up with our favorite squat jumps. All right, down to the mat. In our plank position, we're gonna tuck our knee up and under our torso to the opposite elbow. Squeeze and hold and do the other side. Nobody likes those, but you're gonna do them because they're good for your tummy. All right, lunges with a step back. To make these more challenging, again, you can add weight if you want, or do no weight. You're gonna step back and rotate to the front leg, back to center. When you twist, make sure you don't just twist from your shoulders, but really from your core. Whew. Those are definitely hard, so take your time and find your balance. All right, last movement, our squat jumps. Take the booty down, pop it right back up, knees track over the toes. All righty, that workout is done. I'm tired, hopefully you will be too. There's another great workout for you to do at the beach, in your home office, in your home, to just get your heart rate up, your muscles firing, when you don't have time to make it to the gym.